To me, the number one New Year resolution for people is naturally going to be weight loss. Everyone wants to lose weight. It's pretty much top on everybody's list. First thing is to actually make a commitment with yourself to actually say to yourself that you're going to make a lifestyle change, which would probably mean doing self inventory, really sitting down with yourself and asking yourself before you even walk through a door that you say, is this something I'm going to really do? Am I going to really take the time to go into the gym, go into the local health spa, wherever you're going to go to get fit? Or are you going to really change your life and do it and not go there and do the what we call the 24-hour countdown? Because most people that set this resolution walk into a gym and within 48 hours after that first workout, they're usually nowhere to be seen after that. The New Year's resolution of losing weight would be, the keys would be first, like I said, behavior modification or lifestyle change, getting yourself disciplined and mentally prepared to go in there, seeking advice from, you know, a trainer or a nutritionist, really both of them, and thirdly, really putting the tools together to get up and, and, and do it because uh the bottom line, the end result is actually you. You have to take accountability. I guess that would be the main thing, the, the, the closing. Taking accountability. Really, once you walk into the gym and, and your program is, is laid out for you, don't always rely on the fitness expert to do the work for you. You know, if you have a set time you need to get up, if your training session starts at 5 a.m., and you need to be up at 5 a.m., if you're one of those individuals that, that procrastinate, that can't get up, they go, oh my God, I don't want to get up, but the only times I can work out is this time, that's when accountability comes in. Then you need to really take that initiative step and set your time, clock a little bit earlier, and get in and work out, take a shower, and then go to work. Technically, when you, your, your trainer routine should be, especially for starting out with, with New Year's, you don't want to what we call overdo it. Uh, 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 what the problem that we're running into is individuals want to get into the gym. They want to hurry up and see results really, really quick. Make the New Year's resolution a slow and, and, and gradual process. The amount of time that the individual should do in that workout, no more than 45 minutes, no more than an hour. Um, making sure that your nutrition is sound. Um, if you're a diabetic, make sure that your carbohydrates are basically ideal for that particular um, um, diabetic person. If you're not, making sure you're getting the, the uh, what I call the three, four, six meals spread out between every two, three to four hours. And if you can't eat, then add your supplements to it. But your workout regimen should also be maybe three days a week. You don't have to overdo. You have to be in the gym every single day, every other day, three days. If you want to train every day, there's really nothing wrong with that. Minimize your cardio. You always don't want to overdo too much cardio. You might want to switch over and start doing a little bit more strength and condition, especially the women out there. You really want to get that, that muscle because the thing that you have to remember, muscle burns fat. And if you're trying to lose weight, rule of thumb is build muscle. If you like to get more information for this holiday season, start your resolution and you really don't know which way to turn, feel free to contact me. We offer a free consultation, sit down and talk to you, find out what those goals are, what we need to do, and take a step-by-step -step from there and get you where you need to be. That way, that's New Year's resolution for 2013. By the time we get to 2014, you're where you need to be.